Okay, I want to try this problem. So here we have a soccer dome that has to be painted. And this part is going to be painted gray. This part is going to be painted gray. And so is this part. So what do these two shapes make? Well, they're two half circles. Right? They're two half circles, so that makes one circle. Right? Okay, that's important. And this part is going to be painted white. Now that's the lateral area of the cylinder. And how are we going to pay for this? What's the cost going to be? So the cost is charged by the painting company is, a propor is proportional to the area to be painted and depends on the color. For example, the gray will cost two, $352 for 160 meters squared and the white will cost $272, $272 for 160 meters squared. And the key word here is proportional proportional so if it's proportional we have to make proportions here so 160 meters squared for the gray will cost 352 dollars so once we find the area of the gray we can figure out what the cost of the gray is going to be so it'll just be cross multiply and divide and same thing for the white but the white is a little cheaper it's 272 dollars for 160 meters squared so once we find the area of the white we can cross multiply, divide, and get the cost of the white. So let's start with the gray. So like we said, the gray is two half circles. Two half circles, which makes one circle. So what is the area of one circle? Just pi r squared. Pi r squared. That's the formula for the area of a circle. And what is the radius here? Well, we know the diameter is 46. So the radius is going to be half of that. So the radius is 23. So pi radius squared, and that gives you 1,661.9 meters squared. That is the area of the gray part, which is basically one circle. Now that we know the area of the gray part, I can put it up here. And then cross multiply and get the cost of the gray part. So that's what I'm going to do next. So there's my area. Meter squared on top, meter squared on top, cost of the bottom, cost of the bottom. This times that divided by that. And I get the cost of the gray is going to be 3656.18. So now we have the cost of the gray. Let's go back and find the cost of the white part, which is a cylinder. Well, it's half a cylinder. So the area of the white is half the lateral area of a cylinder. Half the lateral area of a cylinder. And what is the lateral area of a cylinder? How do we find the lateral area of a cylinder? Well, I can think of it as, imagine I would just open this up. If I open it up like that, it's basically a rectangle. It's just a rectangle. But what is this measurement? This measurement would go all around here, right? It would go around here. And that, this would be half the circumference or the circumference this would be half the circumference so it's if I find the whole thing I'm one half so it's half the lateral area of the cylinder and the lateral area of the cylinder is half its circumference times the length so the circumference times the length it's basically a rectangle so how do we find the circumference it's pi times diameter we have the diameter so it's one half so we want half of it because we only have half a cylinder pi times diameter times the length diameter is 46 meters so it's one half times pi times d which is 46 meters times 90 meters is the length and notice we have meters times meters that's meters squared and when you multiply this out you get 6,503 meters squared. Now we know the area of the white. Now I know the area of the white. I can use I can use my proportion here, and I can calculate the cost of the white. So I put the number here that I just found, cross multiply, and I'll get the cost of the white. 6,500 times 272 divided by, and that gives me a total of 
something over here. Eleven thousand dollars for the white, three thousand six hundred for the gray. Put it all together, add them all up. This is your final cost. This is your final cost right here. 